Hey guys, this is Jim Merritt with Quick Trainer. Quick Trainer Incorporated in beautiful Wilmington, North Carolina. We are your QuickBooks and Accounting experts. And this is part two of a video that I'm doing discussing job costing. And in the last part, um, where, I, the, where I left off, um, was I was showing you that uh, in the construction and process account, that we need to narrow the jobs that we're seeing so we can then relieve the construction and process account of its expenses and move those over to cost of goods sold on the profit and loss statement. So in this case, we wanted to look at a project um, called um, Pinehurst Subdivision Lot 7. That's all we're interested in. So what I would do is click Customize Report, Filters, and then under filters, hit the letter N for name, and then just type in lot 7 and click OK. So here are our costs. Now, in you know, in a real real world scenario, you would have lots of costs, okay? And uh, probably you would want to um, not probably um, you would want to see these based on um, perhaps memos. So maybe we would sort by memo here and um, and get everything together. But um, in any case, we would want to go through, and, and I'll be the first to admit this is a tedious process, okay? But it is what it is. And we would create a journal entry, which you do by going to company, make journal entries. And I've already started creating this journal entry. So you can see what I've done here is I've taken the lot purchase of 40000 and I'm crediting a construction and process which will reduce the expenses associated in this account. And then I'm debiting other construction costs here. And, um, and then I go to the next one, 7800 which is building permits. I credit construction and process and then I debit um, cost of goods, plans, permitting fees. And then I do the same thing for the roofing labor, except I'm posting now to subcontractors. So chances are you're going to post to the subcontractor's account uh, quite frequently. And um, you're probably, in a real world scenario, going to post to a materials account quite frequently. Um, those are probably the two most common accounts that you would post to. All right. But when I'm all said and done, and I've got everything listed that I want listed, um, and I've got this dated, that you know, preferably the date that the home was sold, um, click Save and Close, and um, you can see now, though I don't see any change here, because keep in mind, oh, I don't think I said this. Um, Keep in mind, if we go back and look at that journal entry again, you do not want to associate the lot or the project over here. Because if you do, it's going to skew this job costing report. In fact, what it's going to make it look like is that there are no expenses associated in, in the actual cost column. Um, because because you're zeroing out the construction and process here, and if you put the the project name over here, it's going to zero out this column, and it would do it with no item down here. But you don't want that, so just uh, don't just leave this blank. Is the simplest way to say it. Just leave it blank, All right? But now if I look at my overall construction and process, um, you can see that account 1300 it went away because in this scenario there are no more um, expenses associated with construction and process now in a real world um, uh, scenario that probably would not be the case because you probably always have ongoing projects okay so hope that helps if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment you can just also send an email to info at quicktrainer.biz, info at quicktrainer.biz. 
You can visit us on the web at www.quicktrainer.biz. You can also call us 910-338-0488. Have a great day.